going to turn our attention to the issue of religion and politics. And by pure coincidence, that is the subject of our student cam winner. We asked students what message they would send to President Obama. And if you look at Newsweek.com and the cover story, The End of Christian America, a piece by John Meacham. We'll read some of the excerpts in just a moment. But first, we want to introduce you to one of our latest winners. All this month, at this time, we're showing you excerpts of the Student Cam Contest winners. You can watch all of them, by the way, if you log on to studentcam.org. And the issue presented to President Obama, separation of powers between church and state, the role of religion and politics in America. Here's an excerpt of the uh, entry, and we'll talk more about religion and politics in our remaining 20 minutes. To the flag. The United States of America. And to the Republic. So which it stands? One nation. Under God. Under God. Under God. Under God. Under God. Under God. May God bless our country. May God protect our troops. God bless the United States of America and our president. May God bless America. I believe in an America where the separation of church and state is absolute, where no Catholic prelate would tell the president, should he be Catholic, how to act, and no Protestant minister would tell his parishioners for whom to vote, where no church or church school is granted any public funds or political preference. Joining us on the phone is Carla Aronson, third prize winner in our student cam competition, whose school is in Key Biscayne, Florida. Good morning, Carla. Good morning. Why is the separation of church and state the most urgent issue for President Obama to address? Um, well, my group and I, we feel that, I mean, some of the biggest problems in the United States among, like, the rift between Democrats and Republicans is due to religious issues. And um, especially on some hot-button topics like gay marriage and abortion, that's really what causes separation of ideas in our country. After making this film, do you believe that the separation between church and state is possible? Oh, well, one thing we kind of abided by was that, like, our country can separate church and state, but we can't necessarily separate religion from politics. I mean, we could separate church and state when we make laws, but religion is something that's always going to have to be considered when making laws. How do you think religion affects government? Um, well, as we showed in our film, the, the Senate, the House, even city council meetings are began with the pledge and with a prayer, kind of to put in the people making the laws' minds that like, they should consider God when they create these laws, they can, should consider religion, which is definitely an issue and shouldn't be something that's so prevalent. Your video starts with the Pledge of Allegiance. What's your opinion of the pledge? Um, well, we are required to say the Pledge of Allegiance in our school in a moment of silence for prayer every morning at the beginning of school. And then, once again, the Senate and the House and City Council meetings use the Pledge of Allegiance kind of to remind people that maybe God is one of the leaders of our country. And I don't think that's necessarily right. And then the under God that was added in 1954 to the Pledge of Allegiance is definitely against what our country was based on and founded on. How did you conduct research for this film? Well, we, we kind of looked at the history of how the United States was formed and, like, Thomas Jefferson's letter and things like that on the separation of church and state, as well as we made a list of all the issues presently that mix church and state. And, um, yeah. And who did you interview? We, inter we interviewed... Uh, a rabbi, a conservative rabbi, a liberal reverend, and uh, we interviewed a teacher at our school, some volunteers and citizens on voting day, and, what did and uh, we also interviewed the mayor of South Miami. What did you learn from the religious leaders that you interviewed? Uh, well, they both had extremely different viewpoints. One of them was extremely liberal, 
and was a congregational congregationalist church reverend who believed in the separation of church and state since that's what the country was founded on and then the the, the rabbi that we interviewed was extremely was extremely strong on always thinking about God when when you do almost anything in your life. After what you've learned, what is your message to President Obama about the separation of church and state? Um, well, right now, definitely separation of church and state is not necessarily the most important issue. He should be trying to fix the economy. But um, the United States and like the policymakers really need to decide if we should separate church and state first because that's even a conflict, because since in the letter from Thomas Jefferson it does say we should separate it, but obviously we're not. We need to decide if we're going to separate it or not, and then we need to rethink the laws that have been made and all the laws that are going to be made in the future, and we need to consider what role religion is going to play in those laws. Thank you, Carla. Absolutely. You can watch Carla Aronson's video and our other StudentCam 2009 winning videos at www.studentcam.org.